Welcome to Falang Day, where we give our guests 1,000 baht, and all they have to do is speak English for five minutes with a native speaker, and that native speaker is me. Many people over the age of 25 feel they are too old to learn a second language. I used to feel like that when I first started learning Thai, and then I changed my thinking from, I'm too old to, yes, I can do it. My Thai is no way fluent, but it's getting better. And that's the main thing. So let's welcome our guest for today. Sorry, Hi, sorry, Take a seat. Thank you. So what's your name? Nickname, Na. Na. Yes. Like face in Thai? I? Na is face in Thai? I don't understand. Oh. So um, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself, please? Again, please. Can you please tell me more about yourself, please? Myself? Yeah, introduce yes, yes, yourself. Yes. I'm uh, uh, 62 years old and I have one son and one daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes. So today we have a mission for you. So your mission is to speak English for five minutes. Five minutes. With me. <gasps> but extra points will be awarded for no dead air and your ability to ask lots of questions. I ask you. And I'll ask you as well. <laughs> so, as requested, the topic today is break up. Stopwatch ready? Let's go. Break up. Correct. Oh, I ever, I ever, uh, the past, 20 years ago, and I love him, but my father not, not like him. Mm -hmm. And you break up. I is uh, sad. I really sad. But I, if I strong, my strong, because I beautiful. I think I beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I to swimming, to shopping, and to work, work everything, noting everything. And I meet someone, someone uh, he is uh, handsome, not handsome, but he, he like me, he like me and love me. Now, I think I so, I so happy. Mm. And why didn't your father like the first guy? First guy. Yeah, why did your father not like him? Because he he poor. And the second he is a uh, Don Juan. What's that? <laughs> don't oh. have the future. Uh-huh. Poor future. And he said, if you marry, you not come back your family. So are you Thai Thai or Thai Chinese? Thai Chinese. Mm -hmm. Because in Thailand, there's lots of different um, nationalities. And uh, what's your name? I don't know. What's your name? Sunny. Sunny. Oh, you look so young. Thank you. And handsome. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. You're shy. You're shy. <laughs> where? Where? Where you come from? Um, so I was born in Australia, but my father is British. Oh, Australia. British. And you have family. You marry. No, I'm single. Oh, no, no, no one loves me. No, I'm single. No one loves me. No one loves me. Oh, oh. Yeah. And you like Thailand? I love Thailand, yes. And how long you stay here? I've lived here for three years. Three years. Oh, you can speak Thai? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a Thai student. Oh, you can speak Thai. No. Now, I, I'm really happy with my family, yes, and I forgot it. You forgot about it, mm-hmm. Yes, and you ever bed up? Well, I have one time before. Um, before I came to Thailand, I was um, going to get married, but they cheated on me. Mm -hmm. So they were, they had someone else. So then I was really upset. I was devastated. I was so devastated. So then I went to Japan, and then I came to Thailand, but I was pretty upset. I don't think I've moved on, and it's been four years now. Three or four years, yeah. 
So I was really upset. Mm. And how to how to make yourself? Well, first I went on the piss and I drank a lot of booze. I went partying. I went traveling, and then it didn't really help at all. So then I started learning about Buddhism. I started going to temples, doing meditation, and I got two dogs. Two dogs. <laughs> I brought two dogs, um, but it's been three years and I still haven't moved on. My my heart's still sore, <laughs> it's still heartbroken. Mm, I don't believe because you're handsome. I guess when I love someone, I love someone with all my heart. Mm. And I thought that was the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Perfect. But I've got two dogs, so <laughs> <laughs> I love my dogs. Love your dog. <laughs> yeah. But love my dogs and I love you. So I would like to know when you first broke up with your boyfriend that your dad didn't approve, what did you do to move on? Swimming. Uh huh. And to learn the dancing. Dancing? Yes. You dancing. can dance? I can. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what type of dancing? Yes, yes, yes. To teach, cha cha To teach, cha cha You're very good at dancing. Cha -cha. So that helped you cha -cha -cha. get over your boyfriend, did it? That helped you move on, dancing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Time's up, time's up, <laughs> time's up. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel my family. No, with your English today. How do you feel that you went with your English? Oh, I really like you. Oh, thank you. But you have a husband. I... <laughs> no, 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 no. I not love you. Oh, okay. Uh, I like you. Uh -huh. I like you because today I can speak with myself. I think it's a... Some, some word is easy. Sometimes I, I don't understand you, what you say, but you speak with me. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I think it's easy. So I just want to give you a little bit of feedback on how you went. So firstly, I was really proud of you for trying and having a go. Um, and I know this is your first time having a real life conversation with a phalang. So I love that, that you just had a go and you didn't give up. Um, but today um, I said a few words um, that I'm sure you didn't understand. So when I was speaking about when I um, broke up with my ex, I said that I was devastated. Devastated. <laughs> devastated means like, see a J mark. Really, really, really sad. Really sad. Yeah, devastated. Huh? Devastated. Devastated. Ted. Ted. Devastated. Devastated. Oh, it's getting marked now. Really good. Difficult. But it's a word that Falangs use all the time. Mm -hmm. So, like, if someone dies in your family or you break up with your boyfriend, you feel devastated. Devastated. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh. I had a really nice time having a little yes. chit chat with nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So it doesn't matter if you're 10 or you're 63. You're never too young or too old to learn a second language. You just need to believe that you can do it. So if you want to join our show, send us a message on Facebook or send us a message on our website at bungaboo.tv. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.